hey guys uh, i'm back with a new tutorial this time and i thought i'd do something different so i've chosen to tell you how we could use design patterns within unity and for this example i've chosen a singleton class a singleton class is basically uh, can be used for something like a managerial class where you have only one instance of an object so uh, so yeah, you don't have to do the traditional get component and you know refer to the game object and get your script. You can just get the instance of it. So what I have here is a simple scene with a plane, uh, a character controller and four cubes. What we want to do here is to create a score manager which increases the score whenever the user touches any of the cubes. That's it. We let's do something as simple as that. So, just to test, show you what I have in the scene. That's it. There's nothing else going on here. So we just create a new C sharp script. Call it our score manager. There you are. So, what we need to do is first make this into uh, make this class static. So, how? Okay. So, I'm I'm going to show you how to set up a basic singleton class. So, what we do is we just have something like a private static score manager. I'm going to call this. M underscore singleton and so we need to access this singleton now C sharp gives us certain powerful features like properties to do that so I don't really have to access this I just access uh, I'll just create a property and use that how I'll do that is just right click on singleton or refactor and encapsulate this field uh, it has it should be a let's make it a read only field let's be public and I'm gonna call this instance you can call it whatever you want so I'll do it okay and uh, there you go you have a property setup which accesses this singleton I don't like to do this what I would do instead of that is create protected wide awake and okay so this basically initializes my singleton I like to do it in awake um, so whenever I use managerial classes I make sure that all the singletons are initialized in awake and every other all other code that is part of logic should be in start because you want all of your managers to be initialized before any other logic runs um, so what we do now is uh, okay so this is it our singleton has been set up that's all it takes to set up a singleton that six lines of code now we will have uh, a function call it call it a public void add score and we'll give it a parameter say int i at the same time let's just get a private int m underscore n final score this variable basically holds the final score which is to be displayed so this will be final score plus equals to i that's it 
so for those who don't know what this is go back to your c-sharp basics this just means that the final score which is as of now zero will be equal to i which is the input score that you will get based on events plus final score so instead of i plus final score i've written plus equals to it's just go back to your c-sharp basics if you don't know what that means um apart from this what we're going to do in this is uh on gui function which will display our scores so that we know what we're doing is right so let's just have a gui dot box let's call it a new rectangle and uh, just say final score is final score and let's just make this zero so that initially it shows zero that's it all we're doing here is that we're displaying the final score so now what we can do is let's go back into unity check if there are any errors nothing so far first things first uh, I create an empty object and this is what I like to do I like to any the game object which has my managers attached I like to call it underscore app the reason why the underscore is that it makes sure that it's in the top of the hierarchy and I attach my score manager to this and now what I'm gonna do is uh, just so now what we want is every time the character touches any of these things let's just say we want each one to have a part like a type of score like say 100 100 100 100 you touch each one you get 100 points and you make it disappear first thing we do is we make sure that when we create a box uh, a cube we have the is trigger checked because we're going to be checking for the trigger component um now that that's done let's just create a script that says cube this is going to be the behavior of the cube We don't need a, there are any of these functions. Let's just have a void on trigger enter. This is a function that comes from mono behavior. If you don't know what this is, please check the Unity docs. I pass the collider of the object to it. So whenever anything enters this trigger what do we do we do okay so this is how you call a singleton class function so i do a score manager oh one second i think i made a boo -boo. oh there you go i should have done that my bad people manager dot instance dot add score and let's just say 100 you see that's it that's the beauty of using a singleton class rather than using a traditional class so I can pretty much just do that and make sure that my code runs fine so now what we need to do is let's just make sure we add the cube component onto all of our cubes and that's it now if we run the game okay so final score is zero as of now because we haven't done anything walk straight boom final score is 100 boom final score is 200 Boom, final score is 300, final score is 400. There you go guys, that's it. That's the first set of my tutorials. Hope you understood what the singleton class does and use it in your future projects because I've used this a lot in the last two years or a lot of projects and it's helped me a lot. Trust me, you want to use this. Let me know what you think and uh, if you have any doubts, I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot.